Certainly in the eastern half of the state of Texas, hay is a big deal in most cow-calf operations. Uh, certainly, as you think about uh, the Bermuda grass growing areas, uh, they can produce more forage in the spring, summer, and early fall uh, than most of the, than their cattle can, than a sustainable uh, stocking rate of cattle can consume. And so there's excess forage that can be put up uh, in the form of hay, and then that forage can be fed during that winter dormant period when typically the forage quality or the quality of that forage rooted out there in the pasture is either of such poor quality that it won't sustain animal performance or it's simply limited in availability. If you're buying hay, one of the primary concerns that I visit with producers about is if you're going to buy hay, at least try to get an idea of what the, the bales weigh. Uh, as I visit with producers, oftentimes uh, the number one question is how much is it a bale? Uh, and these round bales can vary in weight from uh, easily from say 700 pounds to 12 or 1300 pounds. So dollars per bale uh, is, that's, that's a pretty easy cost to get your hands around, but there can be a 75, 80% difference in the weight of those bales. Uh, so if nothing else, at least try to get an idea of what those bales weigh and maybe put that on a dollars per ton basis so you can compare apples to apples when you're comparing different sources of hay. And then, um, you know, it, I think it's really advantageous if we can get some estimate of the quality, nutritional quality, nutritional content of hay. Uh, it's very easy to take a core sample out of a lot of hay like you see here behind me. It'd be ideal to go in and take core samples out of several bales, but you might want to do it by cutting. Uh, but uh, take a representative sample, uh, send those samples into the lab either here at, at Texas A&M or there's several other private labs around the country that do a great job. Get an idea as to what the nutrient content, protein, energy, maybe even the mineral content of that hay is, and you can do a much better job then of designing a cost-effective supplementation program uh, to complement that hay uh, that you're feeding in the fall or winter.